Okay, uh, welcome back to another episode of Ultra, the Spare Girls. So, yeah. We finished talking to the adults that we could for now. And we did the whole hit list thing from Miss Hiroko Hagakure over there. Now, we, we're gonna talk to Shirokun. So, everyone here is so nice, there's nothing to worry about, right? If these irritating cowards are nice people, <laughs> this world must not be made up of bad people. And that stranger danger warning would no longer be needed. Wow, such an amazing world. That's the epitome of my ideal. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well then, it's about time we went back to the important stuff. This place is used as a conference room, so let's talk inside. Here, come in! Huh? He's not here. He's usually here, though. Who's not here? I wanted to introduce you guys to him. Can you wait here a little while? I'm sure he'll be back soon. Leader? He's probably some old geezer who thinks he can run the show. I won't hold my breath. What kind of leader would a pitiful place like this even have? Definitely a useless old man. If he really is a superior man, he would be in a superior organization. Just like a master. And you shouldn't have high expectations either, Omaru. Expectations? What kind of expectations? So we have to wait here for the leader, bro. What's the victims? Names of the dead are listed here. What's the missing? Names of the missing people li listed here. The victims and the missing are divided into two lists. They're both pretty long. It's not even murder at this point. This is war. The kids call it revolution. That's just semantics. Exactly. Call it whatever name you please. In the end, there's still a mountain of bodies. But by calling it a revolution, they justify it in their minds and become even more brutal. By how you're talking, you seem to know these brats pretty well. You're talking about the Warriors of Hope who lead the Monokuma kids, right? From what I know, they were apparently students of an elementary school affiliated with Hope's Peak. Hope's Peak Academy? Why would that name come up now? Oh, what about shit. it? Did something happen before? Yes, definitely. Not just something but forget about it for now it's a very long story there's stuff like the tragedy and even the fucking killing game like the first game but more on the subject i never expected the academy to also have an elementary they're not technically affiliated attending hope's peak academy still requires being scouted but the elementary was still prestigious many hope's peak academy students came from there the elementary studied the talents of children. Only child prodigies could attend. And how exactly are they prodigies? They're just a bunch of mental brats. I guess that just shows that having a great mind does not always make a great person or a child. A child's talent can easily be corrupted into something evil. Those five are the worst example. Actually, the Warriors of Hope were all in the classroom with the Trouble Children. Troublemakers, huh? Just as I thought. They were all deviants from the start. It might be more accurate to say that they own talent not even the teachers could control. And what makes it more horrifying is that they're still kids. They kill without guilt or mercy. You remember what you were like when you were children? How many cool things you did? Insane because they're too pure. Uncontrollable because they're too innocent. Children with more potential than adults. With such cruel natures. How horrifying it would be if they were truly out of control. 
Pella City is an example of that. You, you think it's fun to threaten us? It's not like that. I'm just trying to tell you to be careful. Oh, God. That's none of your business. Now we gotta do here. I was dead. I one got killed. Sound of chanting, screaming like dogs being choked, never at least my ears. I one got killed. I one got killed. Devils. They're devils in the bodies of children. Damn devils. Damn devil constantly chanting that. I want to grind down your organs, your heart, liver, kidneys, everything into dust. I want to throw you all into a blender and turn you all into a sl sloshy liver stock feed. I want to stab your eyeballs with a pencil until, until I can write your own blood. I want to boil you alive in a, in a pressure ch cooker until you, your screams stop. I want to squeeze your little bodies until blood leaks from, the, from every pore of your skin. I want to slash open your wombs of the mothers that birthed you and stuff you back in. The, the writing's really sloppy after this. I can't read it. That's quite a poetic style they have there. Okay, we got two more of these lockers to go to. Shirokuma brought in three new people. I feel happy, but at the same time scared. I wonder how many adults are killed or thrown. How many of them got saved? How many bodies are lying there? Thanks to the newbie streaming, sleepless nights of team. From what I can tell, his, his dream, his friend gets killed by kids and he screams out. I can kind of understand how it feels. He feels. Can't blame him. The newbie finally broke. Even though he's a grown adult, he ended up acting like a newborn baby. He lost against his nightmares to the kids. Looking at the scenery, faith forces me to realize that even though I'm here, I, can, I couldn't run. Every time a newbie is brought in, my despair increases. I can't even run, nor forget. The children will kill us all. This is pretty intense. Just reading it makes me dizzy. I was about to say, now we got. Yo, Shirakuma! I heard you were looking for me. Hi, <sighs> I heard you went outside again without like my permission. Dad, bro. Didn't I tell you it's dangerous? So, two more newcomers? Fuck happened to your arm, bro. Name's Haiji Toa. I'm the leader of the resistance. Wait, hold on a second. I got pause here. I'm going in with an open mind, guys, so... And I know people hate this motherfucker, so... I'll, let's just see how bad he is, though. Let's Dear. just do that. What a surprise. He's pretty handsome. <laughs> uh, I'm Toko Fukawa. I hope uh. we get along well. <laughs> I'm Kamara Naegi. Uh, um, so, a girl who's filthy, and a girl who's clean. Which one do you prefer? Um, if your last name is Toa, does that mean that you're... Yeah, I'm from the Toa family. Haiji's father is a chairman of Toa Group. Then, you're a son of a distinguished family? And the Toa Group, too. You must be very... Ah, I'm getting a little hot from all this excitement. I don't mind if you help me cool. Got it. Leave it to my special cooling device. I, I didn't ask you. Well, I'll tell you right now, I don't have status or money or anything. Those kids took it. Thanks to them, I lost everything. The Toa group. Even the whole damn Toa city. 
I thought your ass was inviting the whole tour group, bro. Uh, by the way, uh, do you happen to know who's uh, leading the children? Who knows? Then, do you maybe know why Toa City became a target? Sorry, I don't really know much about Toa's situation. I didn't really do anything there. And the one who would have all the answers, my dad. And he's been missing since the riots. Missing? I, I'm the same. I don't know where my parents are either. So I... I want to go home no matter what. Please, tell me how to get out of this city. Well, if there is a way to escape, I'd love to know. Hmm? All the roads that connect to the outside are blocked completely. Damn. It wouldn't matter anyway. That wristband. Those kids put it on you, right? Yeah. I know it will explode if I try to leave, but does anyone know how to take it off or something? N no? I want to help, but I'm sorry. It's just not possible. However, no need to get too down about that. At least this place is safe. Those brats don't even know this place exists. Y you're telling us just to hide here? It's not like you can escape well, anyway. Staying oh. put and keeping quiet is the best move right now. You're... you're right. At least as long as I'm here, there's no need to worry. But there is going to have to be some point where we have to, we have to fight back, though. Why don't you fight? Yeah, like, there's going to be a point in time where... Where we had to fight, though. Isn't this a resistance? An organization created to fight these little brats, right? Then why don't you just fight? Fight? That'd be suicide. We have no guns. But y'all are facing off against fucking kids, bruh. So... Those kids are weak as hell. Fine, fine, fine himself, basically. See this arm? Your arm? Did a Monokuma do it? Yeah, got crushed. Crumbled oh, up like paper. Those Monokuma robots. The whole thing only took a split second. I see. But we, but we could help you defeat these Monokuma robots. Those brats were laughing, like it was fun to them, while I was screaming, bleeding. Why don't you just use your other arm to punch them in the face, bro? They're not kids. Not anymore. They're devils. Devils? Oh, shit. Well, the bright side is, even my nerve endings were crushed, so I don't even feel the pain. Of course, that just means it'll never fully heal. Oh, so they basically... So they basically permanently, permanently damaged your arm, basically. So basically, your will got shattered along with that arm of yours, right? Huh? And that's why you're sitting here, moping and pitying yourself, right? What the? You sure got harsh. That nice girl act was just for your benefit. I got information now, using my womanly charm. Huh? An act? Uh, of course. I belong to Master Biakia only. Then why were you sipping over over this deadbeat that right here, bro? If you if you like Yakia. Just admit that you like more than one dude though. But I do give you I do give you credit for the whole acting thing though. There's no way I'd give my heart to some mole of a man. Hiding underground like a coward. Yeah, like there. I will admit that there has to be a time and place, Coco, where we have to fight, bro. In order to stop those fucking wars of hope, dumbasses. We have to fight eventually. It's not like I'm going to hide forever. I'm just waiting for the right opportunity to strike. Excuses. Save him for your psychiatrist. What's the point of fighting back knowing that you die? It's all for nothing if you're dead. The 
way you are now, you might as well be. Oh shit. <laughs> Toto, that's too far! I'm saying it to you too. Huh? Weren't you going to fight against those brats? What are you doing sympathizing with these people? Yeah, I'll be, I'm, I'm gonna have to side with Togo with this one because Tomorrow has been fighting all those small Kuma robots. Hell, she even took down one of the members of War's Hope so far, so... Why not fight back tomorrow? Yeah, okay. Maybe you are just an average, common, ordinary character with no special talents. Uh, a drab girl who lacks presence and charm with no athletic or intellectual skills. But what's wrong with that? Someone who just keeps making excuses and doesn't even try to fight back? You're worse than dead. Totally worthless. Hey, if, hey, if, if it wasn't for me fighting all those fucking Monokuma robots, your ass would have been dead, probably. Why are you being so cruel? Hey now, I'm sure Toko didn't mean it like that. Oh, yes I did. Just looking at you frustrates me. You remind me of myself in the past. Oh yeah, I forgot to have it. Okay. <laughs> no matter how much pain or despair you feel, nothing will change if you keep denying it. Yeah, bro. Um, yeah, yeah I, I do agree with that. Because Togo has to, had to deal with a lot, especially in the first game. Like, I actually like her way better in this game than in Trig Abbey Havoc. In Trig, in Trig Abbey Havoc, she was just an asshole. Over here, she actually got way better in this game. So, why don't you just try to change it yourself? No yeah, matter yeah. how scary the situation was, he faced it head on and moved forward. Oh, you took. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about Makoto, Tomorrow's brother. Yeah, the only way to yeah no the no, what no, the only way to face the situation is head on, bro. Thanks to that, I'm alive today. Yep. Facts. What are you talking about? Facts, Togo. Rushing forward at full speed with no hope of success isn't courage. It's stupidity. Oh my god. You're... You're, you're a fucking pussy, Haiji. Like, that ass. Who's stupid? Well, do you have a plan? Togo has been through a killing game, bruh. So... And what... What, and what the hell have you been through? Like, a broken arm? Like... A broken, permanently damaged arm? That's it. Like... Do you know of some way to get out of here? Do you know how to remove a wristband? Y yeah of course. Uh, I I'm sure Future Foundation technology can get it off easily. Huh? Ah, uh, I was just saying. It's not like we can contact Future Foundation anyway. Wait, hold on. What did you just say about Future Foundation? Don't tell me you're just going to leave it up to those guys. What do you mean? Um, Togo is a member of Future Foundation. What? What did you say? Haiji? If that's the case, then I'm sorry, but get the fuck out of here. I refuse to cooperate with you. Oh, fuck yourself, Haiji, bro. I could I now I could understand why everybody fucking hates him, bro. I could understand why everybody hates him, bro. Like, stop. Like, goddamn, bro. Uh, hey. What a fucking asshole he is. What happened? Why did he get angry all of a sudden? Let's go. Yeah, bro. Uh, uh, Let's get the fuck out of here, bro. Let's get away from this hygiene bitch, bro. He told us to get out. We can't stay here. Y you're right, but... Yeah, let's go, bro. Let's get out of here, bro. What is that? <laughs> Someone help! That's my wife! Please, calm down. 
I can't. I can't just stay calm looking at this. This is a trap. They're just trying to flush us out. Why fall for their cheap tricks? Did something happen? It might be better if you guys didn't look. Huh? Why? Just because the adults managed to make their way here, it doesn't mean they're saved. As long as we're helpless against the children, there will be no future for the adults here. But there's no need for you guys to worry about that. I'm sure you're already troubled enough. Then I won't think about it. Who won't do any good anyway? And sorry about earlier. I never thought Haiji would react like that. Like, don't worry about it, Shokuma. Haiji is nothing more than a than a huge pussy, bro. Dude, can't, dude can't fight back because his damaged arm, but. That doesn't mean that, and that doesn't mean that everybody else has to has to stay put. Like, why don't they all just fight back, bro? Like, fucking hell, bro. It seems as if he hates Future Foundation. Who, who cares? I'm not interested in those who are beneath me. Anyway, the exit's over there, right? Huh? Leaving already? You should at least stay the night. If I had to spend a night in this dump, oh, I, I would rather leap into the arms of a Monokuma. Aren't you being a bit too dramatic? They're probably planning to attack us while we sleep, or, or take funny pictures of our sleepy faces. Monokuma can't do that, though. Oh no! A sleeping face shot would be bad. But it's already nighttime, and underground. It's going to be even darker. Huh? D dark already? It was, it was already dark above ground, though. I guess I've got no choice. If you insist, just for one night. See? This place is a private room. It's usually used for the injured and sick. Looks more like a prison cell, though. Private room? No matter what you call it, this is a prison cell. Yeah, like... I, like I said, it looked like a fucking prison cell, bro. No, it's not. It just looks like one. But... It's not. Well, it's a fucking this prison is the only cell, place there is, so... We got no choice. Um... About what you mentioned before, are you really a member of Future Foundation, Toko? She is an intern. The only reason why she's an intern is because of her Genocide Jack alter ego. So what if I am? And if you make contact with them, they will come and save us? Well, yeah, but reaching them is the problem. It's true that it will be difficult, but it's not impossible. I'd like you to have this. This is... It's the newest wireless device Togami Group developed. It can send audio and video. Uh, don't you mean Toa Group, Shirakuma? That's a fucking error in the English translation. It wasn't available to the public, but groups like the Police and Future Foundation use it. Like, uh, she, I think he was meant to say, yeah, he was meant to say Toa Group, bro. So, Probably got if lost we use translation. This, we can call Future Foundation? Really? We can? No, it's not that easy. Because of the jamming. Jamming? Like, raspberry? He means no radio real. interference. Yeah, bro. Thanks to the signal jamming everywhere in Toa, this device can't be used in town. Then why give it to us? You want us to throw it away for you or something? Makes me wonder. Yeah, like, if the signals are jammed throughout Toa City, and 
how are we gonna use it? And you gotta also remember, tomorrow cannot leave the city, so. No, it's not that. The jamming radio waves are emitted from a huge building called Toa Hills. If you send a signal from a higher spot, you should be able to avoid the jamming. And of all the buildings in the city, there's one that just might work. And it's not far. A skyscraper called Toa Tower. It's a huge tower, a landmark of Toa City. That building is taller than Toa Hills, so you should be able to send a signal from there. Then if we go there, we can call Future Foundation? If you already knew about this, why didn't you just use other adults? Why us? It's impossible for anyone here. Monokumas are patrolling outside, after all. But I've seen you two fight. You can beat those Monokumas and make it to the tower. Yeah, bruh. Like, that's why you guys should fight. Like, bro. But, but that mole man said he didn't want to rely on Future Foundation. Yeah, fuck him, Toko. Fuck him. He's a huge pussy. Like, bruh. I'm sure he'll understand. If Future Foundation comes, his people will be saved as well. Of course, I won't force you. No doubt about it. This will be a dangerous mission. Don't worry, we'll do it. I wish I could do it myself. To tell you the truth, I'm jealous of you two. I wish I had the power to protect people. Hey, Toko? Uh, I know. You want me to decide, right? Well, it's been decided. Even if a competent adult were to go, it'd be too dangerous. I want to go. Wow. <laughs> That's probably one of the first times that I've seen Kamaro actually decide for herself. Okay. Way to go, Kamaro. What? I know it's dangerous, but... <laughs> we found a way to survive up until now. So, I want to keep trying. Keep going forward. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, I made it this far, so... There's no turning back now. I understand how you feel, but... Maybe you should think this over. W what happened, Toko? Earlier, you were telling me to stop hiding and fight back! Yeah, that's what... Yeah, that's what you literally said, Toko. No, it's just... Well, I guess it's better than just rotting away here. When I think of it that way... Then... we are going? For now, we'll check it out. We'll see about contacting Future Foundation when we're there. Looks like you made your decision. Thank you so much! I'm grateful for your courage! Well, make sure you get plenty of rest today so you're prepared for tomorrow! Thank you! I'm finally starting to see some hope! Thanks to you, Shirakuma! Shirakuma, thank you so much! Oh, good for you! A tight and bouncy hug from a high school girl is priceless! <laughs> Oh my god. Yep, Kamaro snores. <laughs> so c cold, Master Biakia. And Kamaro's, and Kamaro's also hogging all the. It's blanket. morning! Yeah, sure is! Of course, there's no real way to tell underground. But still, I feel refreshed. I was able to get a really good night's sleep. You're the only one who slept well. How can you just fall asleep so fast like that? Okay then, now I'll tell you how to get to Toa Tower. After you climb the ladder, go the opposite way you came from. That will take you above ground. A little bit past that, there will be a river. Follow the river and you'll find the tower. Doesn't sound like it's too far away. The problem isn't the distance. It's the Monokumas between here and there. Don't worry about it. Tomorrow has a hacking gun. So she'll take it down. Well, it's gonna be alright. I'm sure of it. Why do you say that? 
You have no reason to think that whatsoever. You're the reason, Toko. You might be worried for whatever reason, but with you around, there's no need to worry. What? That doesn't even make sense. Just leave it to us. We'll definitely get a message off to Future Foundation. You two be careful! Have a safe trip! Uh, we'll save. We'll climb down in the next episode, bruh. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Fire TV, sign off.